Hello everyone. In this video, we will see the simulation for reciprocity theorem, and for that, we will consider this simple circuit. This is the MATLAB window, and here you will find Simulink. So just click on that. Click on create a blank model. So here we get the Simulink workspace. So first of all, we will save our file. So while saving, we cannot start our file name with the number. And uh, another thing is that we cannot give space in between the two words. Instead, we can use underscore. All the components are present in this library browser. So here in this library browser, you will get various libraries and inside each li library, different blocks are present. So in this particular video, we will be using library, which is a Simscape library. And inside that also we will, you will get various other, another libraries. So just go inside these specialized power systems. And here you will find different electrical machines like DC machine, PMSM and various other machines. If you will go inside this power electronic section, then here you will get various types of switches like diode, thyristor, IGBT. So if you want to any of the component, then just select that component and drag it into the workspace. So this is the one method by which we can drag the components into our workspace. Another method is that here in this search bar, you have to just search the name of the component and here you, you will get that component and then we can simply drag that component into our workspace. But in the newer versions of MATLAB, we can simply double click into this workspace and search for the block which we will be requiring. So now we will require DC voltage source. So as I told earlier, we will be using the components which are present in this specialized power system library. So whenever searching the name of the particular block, you will get blocks which are present in various libraries. So you need to be careful while selecting the block that you are selecting the block which is present in the specialized power system library. So this is the voltage source and we will now start building our circuit for reciprocity theorem. Now according to the circuit diagram, this DC voltage source is of 50 volts. So let us change this amplitude to 50. Click on apply and then OK. Now we will require a resistor. So for getting a resistor, you need to search series RLC branch. Just open this block. So here you have to uh, select the branch type. So in this case, we will be requiring this uh, branch as a resistive. And then we will take this value of this resistance as 5 ohms. Now connect this DC voltage source to this resistor. We will require few more uh, resistors so for that particular resistors you can see again go and search for a series rlc branch or simply make a copy of this series rlc branch and change the values according to the circuit diagram so for copying making the copy of this branch just click on this and press the control button and just drag this block Now change the values of these resistors. To rotate this block, just click, click that block and press Ctrl plus R. So by pressing Ctrl and R button, you can rotate the block.
just connect all these resistors now take current measurement block which is present in the specialized power system library Again to rotate this press ctrl and r to measure the value of current which is flowing through this branch we have used this current measurement block and to see this current we will take the display block now take a power guy block so this block is required for simulation of these components change here the simulation type to discrete save all the changes we will take the stop time or run time as one second and now click on this run button so as to run the simulation so as you can see here the value of this current which is flowing through this branch is 1.25 ampere now we will interchange the position of this dc voltage source and current measurement block and try to see whether this reciprocity theorem is getting verified or not now we will rebuild the circuit so you can again build the circuit or copy this uh, resistors as it is and connect this by interchanging the position of this dc voltage source and current measurement block Now connect this current measurement block to this 5 ohm resistor this 5 ohm this 10 ohm resistor Now instead of this current measurement block in this branch we need to connect this DC voltage source. So I will just copy this block. Now connect this remaining 20 ohm resistor to this circuit. Take a display block or you can simply copy this same block. Now save all the changes and we will now check whether the current flowing through this resistor of 5 ohm is 1.25 ampere or not so for that run the simulation so yes as you can check here v by i ratio is remaining constant even if we change the even if we interchange the position of this voltage source and current measurement block so in this way we have seen reciprocity theorem and also you can check the link in the description box regarding this course. Thank you.